Raise your hand here if you've ever been scammed. Sick, bro. Let me just start over. Raise your hand here. Idiot. Idiot. Have you ever been afraid of being scammed on eBay? Well, confession time. Not three days ago, I was scammed. In particular, I thought I was going to get one of these. Magic. A real legitimate World Cup ball. Official match ball. And in reality, what I got was... Expecto Patronum! A knockoff. So, I'm gonna help you guys, like I said, detect scammers on eBay, and I'm gonna point out the flaws in the fake ball and how to detect a fake Telstar from a real one. Let's get into it. So first, I wanted to highlight three aspects of the ball that make it look extremely believable. This is, I gotta start off by saying, the, one of the highest quality knockoffs I've ever seen. This is close to the real deal. It's really quite impressive. So here are the three things. Number one, the lines on the real ball, the paneling that is. Look how complex, it looks like, uh, what do they call that, the asterisk? The, no, 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 the swastika in the World Cup ball. This has it. I thought that would be most, one of the most complicated things of the ball, and it's pretty much spot on. Secondly, the texture of the real World Cup ball. So granulated, if you will. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, am I, can you see that? Can you see that? You can see my imperfections. You gotta be able to see this on the ball too. Got a texture to it. Same with the knockoff. And thirdly, the branding is right on. Adidas, the World Cup logo, and they even got the FIFA NFC chip. So as you can see, I tip my hat to this ball for those three reasons. Of all the knockoffs, it's pretty high end. This is the official knockoff ball. Not the knockout stage ball. Does that make sense? But here are the things that made me see that indeed it was a fake. Careful. You have to have a trained eye to notice these things. Number one. The painting. The graphics. It's clean. It's fresh looking. It's, it's professionally done. It's a Minecraft. I don't know what else to say. It looks pretty good. And all, notice the corners, notice the corners, all are covered and the lining is very particular. Secondly, as I just mentioned, the lines are straight all throughout the ball, as you would expect them to be. And I'll show you in a second that the knockout has a couple wonky parts. Thirdly, you probably won't be able to notice this with the naked eye, well, you won't be able to notice it. It is nice, kind of fluffy, it feels light. <laughs> it's hard to explain. You guys are probably rolling your eyes. Like this thing could just zip through the air. And you just want to take it to the backyard and give it a good knuckleball. You know what I'm saying? And last but not least, actually, you know what? I'm going to show you the knockout, the deficiency of the knockout, what I just talked about first. So here's the painting that we talked about. Uh, lean a little too forward there. You can tell it's not professionally done. It looks like a, a high schooler did it for his final art project. I mean, it looks pretty good, but you can tell it's not legit. Do you guys agree? What do you think? What do you think? Just a little wonky on the line. Notice this white. Boom. Notice that white a little bit. Oh, white. Ooh! Red, red, red. These are things you're only going to catch when it's in person, sadly. You're not going to see this online when the posting gets... And what was I saying about wonky lines? Ha! Finally found it. Straight line and whoop! It just hikes up there, nice little wave. That is wonky, my friend. Telltale sign of a knockout. Not off, not knockout. Knock ball. It doesn't feel as fluffy. That is a terrible word. Thick? Dare I say a tiny bit waterlogged? It just feels. Ah. Uh, terrible description. I apologize. What else can I do? It's just different. It's not... Oh, that is lovely. I'm about to try to explain. Forgot to mention this nugget of gold that'll help you tell a fake Telstar from real life. The NFC chip, my friends. Can you see based on the angle, the shade, the lighting has to be right. The ever so small, but the ever so present NFC chip. Hopefully I've given you enough angles that you've seen it. It's in there. It's flat. It's about the size of a penny. And you can tap your phone on it and 
tells you the data of the ball or some sort. But the point is, it's in there if it's legit. Now let's look at the knockout. Ah! You fake son of a gun. Nothing in there. Flat, no chip to be found. I really hope you can see the other chip in the other ball. But believe me guys, there's no NFC chip in here. Just depends on the lighting. You can see it sometimes. And lastly, the telltale sign of all telltale signs for a knockoff telltale. You know, have you ever seen a, a man or a woman that you generally don't know if they're a man or a woman, either because they're cross-dressing or because of their, their hairstyle or whatever it may be? You know what I'm talking about? We've all seen those people. Word of advice, if you ever come across these people again, look at the Adam's apple. Mm, the Adam's apple doesn't lie, my friend. That will reveal whether it's a male or a female. But the reason I got this, this is exactly like that. The fake Telstar will never have the elu- The fake Telstar, the fake Telstar will never have, wait for it, the elusive red valve, unlike most soccer balls. First, knockout stage, gotta do it. Hold on. One sec. Okay. That's, okay, that's good enough. It's black, like a regular soccer ball. So it's pretty easy to understand. If it's legit, it's gonna have a red valve, and it is uh, not, oh, boom. Boom. Now, I got the knockoff for 60 USD. And it was too good to be true. I looked to return it, the link had evaporated before I could get back to it. And I found out it came from Pakistan. Weird black market of ball manufacturing they got going on over there, but it's pretty elaborate and it's pretty impressive. But watch out, that's how you can tell it's a fake Telstar from a real Telstar. Maybe this is beneficial to you. Don't get scammed on eBay. If you see a price that's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Anyways, this is Cake for Trident Soccer signing out. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. Can't